peace for all. I, Dr. Sayyid Afta Bailam, Assistant Professor, Fatma Jinnah Women University, Pakistan, would like to thank Mr. Muhammad Saad bin Abbas, Director, Institute of Teachers, Education, Tanpur, Bayanan Campus, Malaysia, and Dr. Sazli bin Yusuf for refreshing the memories of the beautiful 2018 conference in Penang, Malaysia. The the title of my article is Alam's Educational Framework An Innovative Theory on Students' Growth Need. The study presents an innovative educational framework for especially Pakistan, uh, but uh, the Alam's Educational Framework can be implemented in all societies of the world with some specific uh, socio-economic modifications. The philosophy of uh, uh, it's a study is to me human is a combination of uh, two elements human self and human body self is the honor of all programs like uh, consciousness uh, reason unconsciousness etc and the whole body is energy which is driven by the self each action or creation comes into existence during to a relation between self and energy. As the uh, uh, Quran says, Khalaqal insana min alaq. Alaq means relation. As much as the relation is close and strong, as the khalaq will be better and perfect. So each element or action in this universe has a relation. And in time, natural need-based effective relationship and in time, natural need-based effective relationship between self and body improves the level of human life. A better comprehensive and learned self develops a comparatively better, more comprehensive and perfect body along with its environment. A bad, disturbed and uneducated self damages its body and environment. Now the question is that what is fundamental and core action for the improvement of a self? Academic research is proved that in time and effective knowledge improves comprehensiveness and perfection of any self. The self who cannot achieve in time and effective knowledge, it becomes a victim of disintegration, inferiority and inevitability, which becomes harmful or less beneficial for its own body and environment. In order to impart in time and effective knowledge, it is necessary to create an effective educational framework. Educational framework according to the natural needs of human growth and cognitive development. If the educational framework is in line with the needs of human growth and cognitive development, then self of the learner grows better, progressive and comprehensive. Educational system in Pakistan. Educational framework, especially in Pakistan and generally in many Muslim countries, does not suit to the natural needs of students' growth and cognitive development. Therefore, it is not improving the selves of the students. Change of educational framework for a proper improvement in Pakistani students, in the students of the world, it is matter of an urgency and the problem of this Saturday. Need of educational framework. According to the educational researches, a child between six 
four to six and or seven years of age, taught in a non-formal atmosphere, secures better biological growth and cognitive development than a child taught in a formal education atmosphere during this age of the period. It means that children between four to six or seven years should be taught in a non-formal in-house atmosphere for better improvement in their selves. Educational development theories proves that some whose homeschooling environment for the age period will increase self-esteem, confidence, and initiatives in the children. Theories uh, advocates that best age for the start of formal education is six or seven years of age. And during this period, student needs to learn different languages, social sciences subjects, and moral or ethics through the biographies, stories of great personalities. This will never, uh, uh, they will never forget the languages and moral or ethic stories learned during this age throughout their lives. This phase is the second stage of education in the life of a children. In the third stage, from 10 to 12 years of age, student needs knowledge of biology, physics, chemistry, and math subjects, and basic knowledge of occupation of real life. Recommended by the psychiatrists and the school concerned uh, teachers on the basis of personal record. Skills of analysis and application are developed during this level of education, which is as per student's natural growth. In uh, fourth uh, uh, age uh, stage, from 12 to 15 years, students need practical skills to become an earning hand. Modern researches has proved that learning of practical skills for young people at this age is in the line of their biological, psychological, economic, and family life, family life biological needs. In the next, I think, fifth stage uh, of education, the student should be provided critical and uh, applied research atmosphere to develop creative skills among themselves so that um, they can open new horizon uh, which can be effective in revealing our invention or discovering for themselves and the societies or the countries. So now what I did in this research that is Alam's educational framework level first. In the line of these stages, author has developed an educational framework called Alam's educational framework, which has five levels of education. Medium of this education framework is the mother language, local language of the students, the first level. In-house teaching will start from four years of age to six or seven years of age. The children will be taught by their parents, guardians or first caretakers at their homes. For a proper counseling and guidance of the parents, etc., home schooling contacts, home school contracts and parent teacher agreements will be signed under which the school will provide two or three basic books to teach and all relevant guidance to the parents regarding teaching learning process. During this phase, teacher will visit students at their homes or parents will visit school or teachers weekly or as per the need. School or teacher will be responsible to compile a complete record of the educational development of the children 
for future record. This is the first level. This is the framework of the first level. Now we will go to the second level. In the second level, which uh, is uh, between six or seven years age to 10 years, the child will be admitted in a school through entry test. The entry test is to divide students into different sections according to their learning cap capabilities. This is the start of formal education. And during this level, the student will learn at least two are three international languages through skill development methodologies skill development methodology second social sciences subjects third moral and ethics values through the biography story of the last prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sahabi wa sallam now we go to the third level third level is between 10 years of age to 12 years of age. It will again start with a merit on previous educational record for only dividing the students in different sections according to their intelligence and aptitude. There will be no concept of failure or repetition of classes or levels. Students will be promoted with their obtained marks and grades. During this level, they will be taught with modern curricula of uh, biology, physics, chemistry, math, and poetry and literature through the history, poetry and literature through the history of the great personalities. And that uh, can be uh, the course of the matriculation or O level in Pakistan. According to the uh, Alam's educational framework, the fourth uh, level of education will be between 12 years to 15 years of age. This is a university education. This level is the university education in my framework, which all education will be project based practical. This level will start with an introduction to the real life occupations. Second, Three to four occupation you know, skills will be recommended on the basis of the students' uh, previous educational record and future counselors. These occupational skills will be taught according to the aptitude of the student on purely practical basis. Uh, in addition to this one, one year job apprenticeship, internship of two occupations will be included in this level. Upon completion of this level, young student will be capable to work in an occupational field of life and ready to start earning for their livings. According to students' biological growth, this is the time. This is the time for their marriages and converting their love, converting their loves into concrete, natural objective of the maritime with their self-economic independence. This is the most uh, important uh, level of this uh, framework. In the fifth, fifth level, which is between 15 to 20 years, this level will be equivalent to a PhD degree. Student will conduct critical researches and create or discover innovative products or theories within their occupation. The student will promote and defend their products in real market to sell them. Students will have to donate the profit of their products to the university bank account to get wave of their university faces. This is the doctor's alum educational framework and it is ready to implement in especially Pakistan or Muslim countries but it can be implemented in any society of the world uh, with some uh, socio-economic changes. And uh, I'm here. Please feel free to contact me at my email address, uh, dr.a.alam2015 at the red gmail.com. And I am here uh, to answer your question and uh, to uh, welcome your comments 
and uh, it will be very much uh, helpful for me uh, and uh, inshallah uh, i am here to uh, implement this project this uh, educational framework in any society if uh, anyone want to uh, launch this uh, educational framework it's my player uh, thank you very much please mention your uh, comments and questions uh, uh, in the comment box of the youtube thank you very much thank you very much